What's happening guys? Casper Steinfath here. This might look like a hiking backpack. It's a Nash inflatable and I can't wait to go check out these bad boys. So uh, come along for the adventure. We've been driving for uh, I'd say two hours north of San Francisco. Got this shipment from uh, Hawaii. The new Nash Maliko 14 foot inflatable. Look forward to trying it. It comes in this really nice bag and you know, the funny thing for me is when I think of going paddling, I always think of big board on the roof, uh, a mission from the start to the finish. But with this, I mean, take a look at it. it folds up nice and neat into a little backpack, which I kind of like. What's this? Aloha, Robbie Nash. Have fun on the water. It's always funny. Thanks, Robbie. What we're looking at here is the new Nash Maliko 14 foot. As you can see, it comes in this nice bag. It's got pretty cool wheels as well so when you're on pavement like right here you can just stroll it along inside the bag here is the the gem itself supposedly it's supposed to be stiffer than anything I've tried before look at these uh, black lines here they're the carbon stringers actually make the board way more rigid and, and solid for me, I love a stiff board, like a stiff race board for me with minimum flex is what's gonna be fast. We all know with inflatables, like we think that, oh, it's just like this sloppy banana. But with these infused carbon stringers, it actually makes the board super stiff. Stiffer is better. Got the valve down here, it's high pressure rated. Pump this one up to 20 PSI. Take a look at this fin box. It's a US box, which means that I could put on my own regular race fin. If you look at this line right here, the fabric on the back end of the tail also helps ensure the directional stability of the board, which for racing is key. The Maliko is for the serious racer. It's for the person that wants to push his or her limits. With an inflatable board, it makes traveling for events a ton easier. All right, that's the Maliko. Let's go check the glide out. They're very similar in construction to the Maliko. As you can see already now, this one is uh, significantly wider than the Maliko. The board here is uh, 34 inches wide. The Glide series is a board that's made for adventure. It's made for the novice paddler, the intermediate paddler, even the beginner paddler that wants to go out and explore. The elastic straps up here, great and ideal for storing backpack, dry bag, whatever remedies you need to bring with you on your adventure. It's got handles in the top. If you're in a river, you don't know if you're gonna have to be lifting the board from one end or the other. So extra handles in the front and back is definitely great upgrade on this board. There's room for cargo, a strong construction. It's got you covered. So uh, with that said, let's get out there. My experience was totally over the moon. Had a blast paddling. It also got me curious to uh, to try the Maliko in um, a race situation to see how it compares against composite boards. As I remember the days that we dreamt of inflatable boards being able to compete against uh, hard boards, it would make life so much easier. So uh, we might be there now, and I look forward to putting it to the test because the board it paddles and. Uh, the Maliko really blew my mind. The technology for inflatable boards has come a long way now. The conclusion paddling on the Maliko today was that it's super stiff, the material is rigid, it, it paddles really fast. So stiffer is better. That's it for now, we're gonna pack up and go get warm again. Cheers.